everybody, it's April Justine here from Designer Exotics and today I am going to go over how to set up your own fly cultures and also how to make your own fly culture media from scratch. Alright, so you're going to need 12 cups of mashed potatoes, 6 teaspoons of methyl paraben, 1.5 cups of brewer's yeast, 1.5 cups of powdered sugar, and 1 to 2 teaspoons of cinnamon. You can get this at any one of your grocery stores. I found this on Amazon as well as the Brewer's Yeast at Amazon. Grocery store, grocery store. Now for the cultures themselves, you're gonna want 32 ounce cups, which you can find at Smart and Final or the like. You want lids that have the mesh here. I got these from Josh's Frogs. And then you're going to want this elixir, which is what the flies are going to use to, or the larva is going to use to crawl up and then um, hatch the fly. Now that we have our fly media, it is time to make the cultures themselves. To make your cultures, you will need a 32 ounce deli cup, a lid that has some sort of mesh so the flies don't get out, your media, you can also buy the media, you don't have to make it yourself, and then some of this Excelsior, I have called it Elixir <laughs> in the past, very, it was very embarrassing. You'll want something to mix your culture with immediately so it doesn't set up. So it's going to be a one to two ratio from media to water. You want boiling water. So here's a half a cup of the media. And then I have a cup of boiling hot water. And I'm going to try to mix this all with my left hand. Kind of hard with one hand. So what I checked for here is making sure that it was all in solution, it all had water on it. And then here's about a handful of this, and this is what the larva is going to crawl up on and lay eggs. So I go ahead and put that in. You'll see it's about that full there. You can use other things as well, but I find this to be my favorite. And you want to let this cool down before you put a lid on it, and obviously before you put flies in it. Now the reason you want it to cool down before you put the lid on it is I have found that the steam will create moisture and then your culture is more likely to mold and that is not what we want. The mold inhibits the growth and inhibits the flies from actually flourishing in here. And that's it you guys, that is all you do. Next step is adding the flies and wait for them to grow. All right guys, so I've used my older culture to add flies into this culture and this will start producing some more fruit flies for me in about three weeks. It takes two weeks for you to start seeing the larva eating its way through the media here. And then between week two and three, you'll start seeing uh, these egg sacs come up here. The larva you'll start seeing crawling up and then they produce this sac here and then from that, the flies hatch. So you can see this one's doing pretty well. And this is the difference here. So this is about a month old and this is, I just did this today. So you can see the difference and also something to note that uh, when you keep them for growth, if they're warmer, they're going to grow faster. So I go ahead and have an empty tub here in my rack system and I just put them in this. And they're all done. So another thing to note is that if you are only feeding a very small amount of animals, that culture is probably going to be way too many flies for you. 
And if you want your cultures to really last, and even this is when you buy them too, if you want them to last, dump some of the flies out because all those extra flies are doing is eating up all the media, eating up all the food. And you don't really need them to do that. And that's just going to make your culture die off way faster. So if you have a plethora of flies, go ahead and dump them out, let the birds outside get some of them, and uh, your culture will last much longer of a time. Another thing to note is that it does take about three weeks from when you make it to when you get flies. So you wanna plan accordingly so you're not flyless all of a sudden because we all know those cultures can get pretty pricey. But if that's what you wanna do, go ahead and buy those cultures. Um, I think that is all for my tips. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please let me know down below. Like I mentioned before, I will be linking a blog post that will have all the ingredients laid out for you, all the how-to directions all laid out for you, so you have no questions and don't have to go watch this video a million bazillion times, unless you want to. Thank you so much. Once again, I am April Justine from Designer Exotics. If this was helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more how-to videos and also collection videos.